वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास योर टेस्ट और ओवर एंड आई फील टू सम एक्सटेंट यू ऑल वर सीरियसली ऑन ट्रैक एंड आई एम हैप्पी अबाउट इट लेट इट कंटिन्यू ओके दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद पार्ट बी कंप्यूटराइज रिकॉर्डिंग ओके सो दिस टेक्स्ट बुक वी हैव सिक्स लेसन एंड आल्सो प्रैक्टिकल आल्सो द सो लेट अस कंटिन्यू द फर्स्ट लेसन ओवरव्यू ऑफ कंप्यूटराइज रिकॉर्डिंग सिस्टम इन द लोअर क्लास वी ऑल we all are study about the computer what do you mean by computer what are the characteristics of computer what are the components of computers all those things everybody know okay now we can discuss computerized accounting system what do you mean by computerized accounting system what are the use of computers okay what is a computerized accounting system computerized accounting is the process of recording business transaction and generating financial statement and reports with the help of computers with the help of computers and various accounting software that is computerized accounting it is the process of recording business transactions and generating financial statements and reports with the help of computers that is computerized accounting okay it is used to simplify the accounting procedures and to increase the efficiency of the business in short or in simple words accounting with the help of computers is called computerized accounting accounting with the help of computers is called computerized accounting i hope all are clear what you mean by computerized accounting okay so that means computerized accounting means accounting work is done with the help of computers for that we have lot of accounting software okay the examples tally DTC, Pastry, GNO Kata, and the some examples of accounting software. Okay, so with the help of this software, we can record the business transaction and generate the financial statements. Okay, next we can discuss about. the features of computerized accounting system features of computerized accounting system the first feature of computerized accounting is simple and integrate that is it is simple and integrate that is integrate the various operations of business like purchases production sales finance and marketing okay it helps to simplify the business operation and automatic updating of data that is the first feature of computerized accounting it is simple and integrated okay then second one it is transparent and control 
What is it? The data provided by computerized recording system are transparent and, and easily accessible to the users. Easily accessible to the users. That means everyone will get the uh, information. Okay, that is second one transparency and control. And the third one accuracy and a speed. That, that means fast and accurate data entry of business transaction. Of business transaction. Uh, and also reports and documents prepared in generalized form with the help of computer. Okay, that is accuracy and speed. And then fourth one, scalability. What is it? That is computerized recording system used by any type of organization automatic changes in the volume of data processing due to change in the size of organization that is scalability and the last one is that reliability that means it makes sure that generalized financial information are accurate, controlled and secure. These are the important features of computerized recording. First one, simple and integrated. Second one, transparency. Third one, accuracy and speed. Fourth one, scalability and fifth one, reliability. Okay, I hope all are clear. We can move to the next topic. Advantages of computerized recording system. Okay. The first one. Reports and statements can be prepared timely in required format. So that means we can prepare the statements and reports on time. Okay, and then second one, systematic and efficient recording, uh, systematic and efficient record keeping. That means we can keep our accounting records in a systematic manner, in an inefficient manner. Okay, and then third one, it ensures effective control of System. Computerized recording system ensure effective control over the system. That is the third advantage. And then fourth one, accounting data are processed, processed economically. Accounting data are processed economically. With, that means very low cost. Okay. And the last one. Uh, provide confidential data to the users. Provide confidential data to the users. These are the advantages of computerized recording system. Okay. And the next Limitations or disadvantages of computerized recording system. First one, dynamic changes in the technology lead to investment for a shorter period. That is, what is it? Dynamic changes in technology lead to investment for shorter period. We know that that is business environment always dynamic in nature that means it will change every day new new technology will be updated and then 
second one power failure is the another drawback power failure leads to data corruption and data loss power failure leads to data corruption and data loss okay and the third one lot of chance chances for data hacking lot of chances for data hacking that is another one and then another drawback unprogrammed and unspecified reports cannot be prepared unprogrammed and unspecified reports cannot be prepared okay these are the limitations of computerized recording system okay now we can discuss about the components of computerized recording system components of computerized recording system what is it components of computerized recording system basically the components of computerized recording system have the five components that is procedure data people hardware and software so these components are commonly called five pillars of computerized recording system it is regarded as a five pillars of computerized recording system in that the first component is procedure what is procedure procedure means so it's a logical sequence of action to perform a task logical sequence of action to perform a task okay that is procedure for example identify business transaction identify business transaction for that collect it in source documents after that journalizing after that posting that is posting in posting into the ledger and after that prepare the trial balance and then considering the adjustments and finally prepare the final accounts that is sequential order that is logical sequence of action that is called procedure okay and then second component is data what is data data refers to raw facts when data are processed organized when data are processed organized structured or presented in a given context so as to make them useful they are called information what is information processed data is called information data means raw facts and figures information means processed data that is meaningful in meaningful things okay that is second component data and then third one is that people or human wire this is the most important components of computer human wire are person who operate the computer who operate the computer they uh, they include users like owners then managers system analysts data entry operators etc so that is people and the fourth one is the hardware what is it hardware hardware means physical components what is hardware hardware means all physical equipments associated with the computerized recording system 
system that is cpu monitor mouse printer scanner modem etc etc are the examples of hardware that is another components of computerized recording system and the last one is that software what do you mean by software software means a set of program set of program that is software includes system software like what windows linux etc and also application software that is tally dacis etc are the examples of application software software means what a set of programs set of programs is called software there are two types of software uh, system software and application software i hope all are clear the components of computerized recording system first one what is it procedure second one data third one people fourth one hardware fifth one software okay what is it data and next we can discuss about data and information what is it data data means raw facts and figures stored in the computer it is unorganized facts so it need to be processed so this processing data is known as what information information so that is data and information data means raw facts and figures information means processed data oh then next one data element what is a data element computer computers process the data which is supplied by the user is it computers process the data which is supplied by the user in accounting a transaction consists of four data elements that is name of accounts accounting codes date of transaction and amount that is four data elements in accounting that is name of accounts accounting codes date of transaction and amount next what is the difference between data and information data means raw or unorganized facts that need to be processed but in case of information when data is processed or organized or structured it is called information okay then second one data cannot add any knowledge to the user data cannot add any knowledge to the user but information will enhance the knowledge of the user It increase the knowledge of users and then third difference data as act as a input data act as a input but in case of information data as a output oh i hope all are clear what is the difference between data and information oh next yani hope the our correct position of our elements next we can discuss accounting cycle what is it accounting cycle accounting cycle refers to the specific steps that are involved in completion of accounting process 
the different stages of accounting cycles starts with recording of business transaction and end with the preparation of financial statements that is the first step recording of business transaction in the journal second one posting of journal entries to the ledger third one preparation of trial balance from balance of account and fourth one posting adjusting entries and then fifth one preparation of adjusted trial balance preparation of adjusted trial balance and then sixth one posting closing entries and the last one preparation of financial statements in computerized accounting these stages are carried out with the help of computers these entire stages are carried out with the help of computers that is accounting cycle okay the next topic grouping of accounts what is a grouping 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 means the process of classifying accounts of similar nature in one place that is called grouping of accounts we already studied in the plus one class similar nature at one place it is called ledger isn't it so like that the process of classifying accounts of similar nature in one place it is called grouping in accounting there are different types of accounts on the basis of its nature we can we can a uh, classify accounts as a asset liabilities capital income and expenses okay the basic classification of accounts in different groups are made on the basis of accounting accounting equation do you remember the accounting equation what is it yes asset is equal to liabilities plus capital asset is equal to liabilities plus capital in case capital may change due to profit or loss in the business so therefore the accounting equation can be re uh, restated as asset is equal to liabilities plus capital that is revenue minus expenses so the accounts are classified into uh, five groups they are assets liabilities capital income and expenses in that first one asset so we know that asset means properties or things assets can be categorized into two fixed assets and current assets some examples of fixed assets are land and building plant and machinery furniture vehicles investments etc and then current assets examples of current assets are cash in hand cash at bank debtors stock etc and the liabilities and second one what is it liability liabilities means is an obligation so the like examples of liabilities secured loans unsecured loans creditors provisions etc and the third one capital the investment made by the owner it is called capital that is share capital equity share capital and 
preferential capital and the second one reserve and surplus that is capital reserve general reserve profit and loss balance and then revenue revenue is an income that is examples sales and other income and the last one is expenses expenses the examples of expenses material consumed salaries and wages manufacturing expenses depreciation etc are the examples of expenses i hope all are clear grouping of accounts what is it grouping of accounts grouping of accounts means classifying accounts of similar nature in one place okay i hope all are clear if you have any doubt please contact me